Hello guys, my name is Fei Yan and you're watching Rev China. Today I have Great Wall Motors Blue Mountain here. Well actually it's a sub-brand of Great Wall Motor called Wei. And all of their car models are named after coffees or coffee beans. So they have mocha, they have latte, and this one is one of the biggest so far called Blue Mountain. From the name that you can tell it's their higher end product as well. This is a plug-in hybrid and underneath here you have two electric motors and one petrol engine and we'll talk about that later on. At the front there are several creases and this whole bonnet is actually layered as you can see and it looks quite masculine. You have a LED daily running light and you have LED matrix headlight as well. Now moving on to the side, this car is 5.1 meters long and its wheelbase is 3.05 so it's quite long and quite impressive. It has a couple of very sharp waistlines adding to its masculinity. You have 20 inch alloy wheels as standard. This one is a 10 grand option for 21 inch. That is actually a package and you get Alcantara linings inside as well. And that's the only option that you need to pay extra. Other than that, talking about options, this car has several colors. You have white, black, gray, this goldish color, and then there is a dark blue. That looks rather nice. This car is equipped with level 2.5 auto driving. As you can see, there are multiple cameras on the side, and then you have your millimeter wave radars as well. Now, this car has these automatic running boards as standard. Uh, this is pretty a whole car. These running boards are quite helpful for younger kids or elderly to get in the car. On the back here, it looks quite masculine as well. And then you have a light bar here and then an arrow-shaped braking light. And then you have the way badge here. What I don't really get is you get these fake exhausts and they look pretty fake to be honest. Although this is hybrid, you get a petrol engine. I don't really think you really need this. Then you have the boot here and it opens right here. With the third row up, you have about 250 liters of luggage place and you have a fake floor here. Underneath, these are for your tires. If you get your tire punctures, these are the tire repairing kits. The flooring is quite flat, but because this is a SUV, the flooring is quite high up. So if you're lifting anything heavy, you probably need to take care of your back. Um, inside the car, this car's got the cream interior. You also have orange and then black as well. There is a round steering wheel that's multifunctional here. You have your auto driving. You can choose what's on this driver's display here, which can show that your speed, fuel consumption, for example, and then there is kind of um, what's around you as well. And then on the right hand here, you have the status of the car. In front of me, there is a head up display. It is huge, to be honest. This is probably the largest head up display that I've, I've seen on any production car. It shows, you know, all the driving information. If you have your navigation, or it also shows your route as well. On the side here, you may think these are two screens, but actually this is one giant flap of 27 inch. It's just in two sections, but you can actually show this map or your satellite navigation on one screen. So on the center screen here, you have various apps. For example, you have the car control here. You can choose driving mode. You have your standard eco sport, but Great Wall Motors being a off-road manufacturer, you have your snow, four-wheel drive, muddy, and then also sand mode as well. In here, you can also choose your energy recuperation as low, medium, and high. There's also a one pedal mode. Once you have it on, like a Tesla, it can stop the car in traffic to a dead stop. And then, uh, you know, if you have your auto driving on, it uh, auto starts as well. I have to introduce the driving modes a bit because this is a DHT plug-in hybrid. Previously, we've introduced you to the Lishan One. The Lishan One has a petrol engine, but that petrol engine doesn't really power any of the wheels. It only generates electricity. This car has a 1.5 turbocharged engine as well and that engine has been developed by Great Wall Motors themselves but the difference is it has three modes one is electric only 
One is electric and petrol. The other one is petrol engine only. The petrol engine can power the wheels by itself. Now over here, they've given you a few physical buttons. Now this car has auto parking. The suspension can be turned to transparent as well. What they say is 540 degrees because you can see everything around you, but also front and back. Now this car has another function, which is called reverse tracking. Now I've seen this previously on BMW. What it does is, for example, a parking lot, and then you have oncoming traffic, you can't really avoid. Just turn that key on. This car can go backwards along the track you've driven it in, and it remembers around about 50 meters of your previous driving. Same as your modern electric cars. You can play videos on here, you can install various apps on here, you can play music. That's all standard. There is a little camera here. This camera can monitor the driver's condition. So if you're yawning or if you're tired, this will send a vibration to the steering wheel to remind you, wake up for safety measures. Camera here can also recognize the driver's face. It remembers all your steering wheel settings and your seat settings. So when you get in, it's gonna go back to when you previously drove it. Down here, you have various storage place. So there's one here and there's a USB A charging port and a USB C charging port. This is a phone charger wireless. This is up to 50 watts fast charging. Down here you have a large storage space underneath your armrest. As you can see, there's no air conditioning. All of these fans are hidden. You can control the vents in here on this screen. All of the seats here, front and the second row are heated and ventilated and has got massage function. The third row has got heated seats only. Now all of these seats are covered in real Nappa leather. They are quite comfortable. I would say it's probably on the BMW level. I would probably compare this car to a BMW X7 because it's about the same size. They're all three rows, six seats got all of these techs. Although this is a hybrid, uh, you don't have these hybrid version of BMW X7, but I've driven it for a day or so now, and I would probably say this is as on comfort. This is on par with a BMW X7. Now I'm on the second row. These seats are the same as the front ones. They're really comfortable. You have a armrest here, and then you have four zone climate control. You can change the air conditioning settings yourself. Apart from these tinted windows, you have these privacy shades as well. Apart from blocking the sun, it also blocks view from any onward passengers. Now you have a small tray here. You know, you can have a sandwich or a beer on a long journey, which would be really nice. And then both of these seats, uh, you have these side support so you can properly relax and then you can have your seat lean back i'm going to go into the third row uh, i have to say the gap between these two seats are quite wide so you know you have someone chubby that wants to sit at the back you'll be fine uh, and won't get stuck i'm at this third row here the second row is my cameraman's sitting position and he's nearly six foot tall as you can see i still have one fist of knee room and i've sat in the buick gl8 and i have to say the room wise this is bigger than a gl8 and in terms of headroom i still have one fist and about three fingers uh, these seats are heated as well you can change level of heating using this button and you also have your own USB-C charging port let's take this car out for a drive. Now, when you're at low speed, once you have the indicator on, the center screen shows you everything around you. In heavy traffic, or there's a lot of pedestrians around you, you're not gonna hit anyone. When you're at low speed, depending on the driving mode you're on, for example, you can have the intelligent hybrid. When you're at low speed, you're only using the electric motor. When you put your foot down, everything kicks in. This car has 
two electric motors, one at the front, one at the back, and then a petrol engine that powers the wheels as well. So altogether you have 380 kilowatts of power and 933 newton meters of torque. This gives the car a 0 to 100 speed of 4.6 seconds. And remember, this is a, a 2.2 ton of a car and 5.1 meters long. The, when you're at low speed and comfort mode, the suspension itself is quite okay. I mean, you can't really feel too much of the bumps and even on the road. The noise cancelling of this car is really, really good. Both the front and back windows, they are double glazed. You also have something called a active noise cancellation, just like what you have on a Sony headphone, because when the petrol engine kicks in, it gives out a reverse noise that cancels out the um, noise of the petrol engine. Not like you can hear the petrol engine that much anyways. Other than that, seat itself, I've got the massage turned on. There's a 16 speaker sound system. Now the driving experience is really, really good. At comfort mode, steering wheel is really light. I mean, it doesn't feel like driving a really big car, to be honest. It feels like you're driving a much, much smaller car. The steering wheel is really, really accurate and really light. If I change it to sport, this automatically turns to the intelligent hybrid. You have all the power under your feet. So let's try this acceleration. This car also has level 2.5 auto driving. Uh, all you need to do is either click this button on the steering wheel or click this button downwards twice and that switches on. The road that, that we are on doesn't really support intelligent navigation or what they call NOA yet because the map doesn't cover here, but you can still have lane keeping. You can have uh, the lane changing as well, just using your indicator. It can follow the front car at the speed limit and it can stop itself automatically and start as well. But unfortunately, without NOA, it doesn't really recognize the red light. So you have to kick in uh, by yourself. Now this car has auto parking as well. All you need to do is click on this button and you just drive at low speed. Now, if it finds a parking spot, uh, all you need to do is click OK and then it does everything for you. This car starts from just 270 southern RMB and that gives you a two-wheel drive long-range version. This car we have here is the four-wheel drive version. It has a 44 kilowatt battery that gives you 180 uh, kilometers of range, pure electricity, and also 80 liter of petrol tank. And together you have more than 1,200 kilometers of range. That is more than anything that currently on the market. To be honest, this four-wheel drive version is 308,800 RMB. And that puts it in direct competition with the Lixiang L8. But the Lixiang L8 Air version costs about 10 grand more than this. But this has more range. It has more comfort. For example, you have the zero gravity passenger seat. You have side support for the second rows and then you have more room at the third row and you have a bigger boot as well. So if it's you, what are you gonna choose? The current market for a large hybrid six seat, the competition is really fierce. If you're looking for a more masculine version of a six seater, this is probably one of the best choice for you.